<laughs> yes, it's getting closer, guys. We are only a couple weeks from literally designing the new Teresa Romer largest closet in the oh world. Oh my god. Hey, peep! Look! Oh my god! It's coming together! It's coming together! So the, the railing will be whitewash gray to match the floor. Oh my god! And then the base, I call it the baseboard, but uh -huh. the base that the rail sets on will be painted the same color as the walls. So it'll just blend in and look like it wasn't even there. So. Voila. Wow, it looks so good. He is here, here today. He's polishing his quartz blade. He was gone for a week. Um, he's back and he's polishing everything up. We have got guys that are still muddy, muddy, muddy. This wall will disappear this week. So they are getting the, they're making the steel post. It's gonna go in the corner, which will be the support that the beams set on. So, and in here, we have an electrician working on lights. We have both bathrooms tore apart because they are doing the plumbing for the new sinks that yes. came in. Yes. And of course in here, we have two nightstands and lamps arrived. And they are going to get on box today. And we're going to get put in this spare bedroom. Because this spare bedroom is going to become the bedroom that my husband takes his naps in when we start working oh. in the master. Oh, gotcha. So they're going to bring that temporary bed frame in here so it raises the bed up. I've got two temporary nightstands and lamps just to make it look pretty for him because this side of the house is about to be finished except for painting. Oh. So once they're done painting, they move that direction. This side of the house will be quiet, so during the days he can take his naps in here while we work in the closets. You've already seen us going over all the closet information in Lamar's and part of the layout in Teresa's. Well, there you are. I mean, there's like a store in here. <laughs> So this is Lamar's closet. We're building out Lamar's closet. So we're figuring out cupboards. You can see it on his sketching. We can figure out, we're trying to figure out the island right now. So we're gonna have uppers and lowers. We're gonna have mirror. We're gonna have built-in bench with drawers underneath of it. We're gonna have built-in drawers for a chest of drawers over here built-in. And then uppers and lowers. You can see all my writing. I've been doing this all weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can see my writing on the wall. Hello, caveman artwork. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you figure it out. You lay it out. Visualize it. Okay. So take this up. So we don't get confused thinking we're going to go that far because we're not. We're going to here. Mm hmm So, there's his island. So you've got 36 inches of walk space. He's gonna sit on the bench there. Now, roughly this will be his draw his doorway. Right. How didn't we say my door was 40 inches? 40 inches. So there's gonna be a wall right there. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a wall right here. So when you walk in from here, you see mirror. This will be all mirrored. Right here. This will be mirrored. Then his doorway goes to his closet uh -huh. here. My doorway to my closet is over here. Nice. So when you're walking in, you see beautiful beer, and then you go either that way or that way. Love it. Yes. Drawers, built-in drawers, and shoe rack. Okay. I'm just saying, you could give him more drawers again. Right. Because you've got one skinny set of drawers over here. Mm -hmm. Drawers under the bench. Three. Drawers, drawers. Mm -hmm. I think you could get away with doing 
some built-in a built-in shoe or a built-in built-in drawers right here okay with shoes above it okay and shoes over here okay so that's the wall right there this is the wall oh. that has the mirror on it gotcha mm -hmm. see when you walk in so his closet has uppers and lowers built in big huge mirror at that end built-in bench with drawers under it skinny set of drawers over there uppers and lowers built in all the way down so how many how wide are the how wide are my built-ins in that closet in there 20, how normally up how wide uh 36 inches from 30 from 36 to 48. so if i go into my closet so i can visualize cover space in here let's just say if these were all short one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this would be how much, if you look, this would be how much hanging space he has. A lot of hanging space. I'd say that's enough. Because mm -hmm. I was trying to determine if he needed another set of up and downs. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he does. Yeah. Yes, it's getting closer, guys. We are only a couple weeks from literally designing the new Teresa Romer largest closet in the oh world. Oh my god! Ah. So, but see, everything is getting done. So, so now, this is done here? Yeah, it's all done. Needs painted. Needs painted. We have gold hardware that has been ordered. It's on order for two to three weeks. So it's already been a week, maybe two already. So um, it'll have extremely large handles on it in gold. Yeah. And it'll be painted white, just like everything else. Funny. So, yes, all of this is done. That's what I'm saying. We are now, we've been, you guys have been witnessing the tear apart stages. Now we're in the put back together stages. Mm. So like I said, everything on this end, they're working on baseboards. Like I said, we're almost to the point where we're ready to start painting. So once we paint on this end, we we'll move over there. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see the guys are over here working. You see these big four by fours? Mm -hmm. They are digging the holes for the four by fours. So they have to be in the ground before they pour the cement this week. Oh. So we are getting closer to the cement being poured all over here. So Teresa was telling me she was hard at work this weekend organizing the barn. She said everything's pretty organized. Oh, let's take a look at the tomatoes real quick. Okay, I see one, two. Oh my gosh, look, there's more. Wait, can you see? There's a lot more on this one. This one's got some growing there. I just see one there. Okay, a little tomato update. Let's see in here, what do we got going on? Oh, wow. You guys, I, there was boxes like literally everywhere. I think this is all the Christmas stuff. Got some stuff in there. Wow, boxes in there organized. Oh, this whole area here was full of boxes. Oh my God. She really went to work in here. Look at all this. She organized all the party stuff, the bikes. All right, Grassy. This is the island that was in the kitchen, right? Yep. Wow, man, it was huge. All right, Tisa, I see you. Come. You like the glass door? Yes. <laughs> It'll say office. Yes. TR. Whatever. Okay. So, I worked my ass off this weekend. Did you already go out to the barn? Yes. Clean much a lot in there much more organized, much more cleaned out. I feel better now. If I have to go out and find something, I can find it now. <laughs> Everything's just more organized now. Hopefully, they're coming out today to put the Christmas tree up. Oh. <laughs> in this dust bomb. <laughs> but you'll notice, guys, we really try to keep it clean mm -hmm. because I'm living here. So at night, everybody cleans up, everybody mops, knocks the dust back down. I've got air purifiers going. So we really are trying to help take care of the air around here. But anyways, 
Just imagine a glass top conference table right here. Yes, we're gonna have some built-in shelving. I've already decided I gotta have Sergio come on that wall over there and uh -huh. do built-in shelving. Yes. Maybe even built-in cupboards. Just, I've gotta have some built-in. Cause you see all this shit? I don't want it sitting out like this. Right. And we have that other closet. So mm -hmm. I was like, do I just do built-in white cupboards over there? You know, like, do I just really do, cause it's low ceiling over there anyways. Mm -hmm. So why not just do all built-in cupboards over there and leave this space alone? Cause remember I was talking about doing a little closet right here? Yeah. No, we've got all of this space up here. This whole wall needs to be just built-in cupboards and drawers. Love it. Love cupboards it. and drawers. Yes. So that would leave this area for a nice little sofa. We've got to get a railing ordered for here. Redo these steps so it's twice as wide. And of course, this is the door that's going to go into the new gym area. Yes. Yes. So I will be able to come and go fab. Keep editing. I'm going to go get a quick workout in. <laughs> And you'll hear me on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Still talking minutes. to me. Still talking to you. <laughs> we'll have our headsets on. <laughs> but yes, and I love the glass door so I can see out. Yeah, I'm just, I'm loving this. So I just, I want to, I want to start putting shit back together now. You know, we've mm -hmm. been so busy tearing apart that now I feel like it's time to start putting back together. So they got to get up here and start putting all this back together, mudding everything, doing everything. But yes. It's happening. Yay. So let's go downstairs and talk about what is the motivation for today's Motivational Monday video today. Huh? So here we are. Can you read my shirt? What does it say? I am happiness. Yes. Yes. Bright yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I like the sun. Whee. <laughs> I wear this a lot. See the pants too. So look at you. You got the whole get up today. <laughs> I love this jet. Isn't it cute? I <laughs> love the color. Oh my god, so cute! So cute. So cute. So happy. So happy. So happy. So, a couple reasons I'm happy. You want to know where the motivation in this video is? Here it is. So, love the fact that my Maria is alive and she's doing well and she's back with us. She's wanting to work. Yes. I was like, you don't need to come back to work yet. And she's like, no, I want to come back to work. So guess who's back? Maria! Maria! Maria. Yay! 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 So I'm as y'all <laughs> <laughs> She didn't want to stay up there. <laughs> so y'all know Maria had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she died three times. Yeah. And she decided she just wasn't ready to be upstairs yet. She went upstairs. And I see the heaven, heaven in real. <laughs> and she saw a yeah. lot of people. Yeah, but I see a lot of people over there. I don't see the face there, but the, there's a lot of people. So, yeah. but we're glad she came back to us for a while. We're not ready yeah, to let her to go. need to do something over here. Yeah, God's, God's Maybe not. Maybe next time. <laughs> But for now, we're glad she's here. She has a pacemaker now, thank God. We have lots of friends with pacemakers, so it's not uncommon mm -hmm. nowadays. So anyways, we have piles of stuff here. We've been building these piles because her daughter, Martha, told us, make sure you get some piles built because when mom's ready to come back to work, she's ready to come back to work. <laughs> so, yay. So remember those dresses I got? Yes. The one that we did the photo shoot in over there. What do you think? It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really, really, really long. Long. Let's see. Did you put the, 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 the shoes higher? That's really low. I don't even think it has to be taken in. Don't do nothing. Yeah. Yes. Just a little bit right here. So, you can clearly see on the writing on the walls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You were just in here marking up your everything this weekend, huh? Because <laughs> well, I'm visualizing what I need to have happen here. So I'm doing clothes on this side uh -huh. and some jewelry. And so I need to know, just like these are for long clothes, but you can clearly see they're not long enough, uh -huh. especially for evening gowns. Mm -hmm. So because they're already for long, I'm going to take up 
one on each oh. end. So it's going to go up higher. So I'm going to have a, a for long close there, long close there. This has to go up one. And see, this one's already high, but they're going to take this out. Uh. So it'll be all the way to the floor. This one will stay upwards and lowers. Because I don't, so then I'll have one, two, three, four long. We're going to tear out walls down here. Uh -huh. So, yeah. <laughs> and then this one, whole, this whole one comes out because there's going to be a wall here and this becomes my new glass door down here. Yes. And then if you go in the other room and look on the wall. Oh, let's see what she marked up. Let's you see. see what I was saying <laughs> in there. Let's see the... The caveman drawings. Nothing. Oh. Oh, mirror. Open mirror. What does open mean? It means take the wall out. It's going to be open. Oh. Oh my gosh. What do we think, Nikki? So, so, so happy to see Maria. And once again, it just goes to show you how you can never take life for granted because one day she was helping us pack and move everything and the next minute she's at home and she's having a heart attack and she dies three times. They brought her back to life three times. I said, Maria, you're not meant to leave us yet. So that's why I always tell you guys, don't ever take life for granted. You have to wake up every day and possibly think it could be your last day on this earth. So you need to make that day count. Maria, she died three times, guys. Three times they brought her back. She said she saw people. She said heaven is real. I saw a ton of people up there. You know, so you just, and then this weekend, you know, they had that huge Travis Scott concert here in Houston and unfortunately eight people lost their lives, you know? 14 years old was the youngest one that passed away. Can you imagine that mom and dad? They let their son go to a concert and he never came home. Fab, your sister lost her friend. Mm -hmm. 16 years old. Yep. That's got to hit home, right? Yes. And you saw your sister at the concert, didn't even know she was going. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And you, when you said it, things got crazy, you left. Yep. And now your sister is missing a friend, mm -hmm. you know? And she thought her friend was behind her. Yeah. So guys, I mean, just, you know, the motivation here is I tell you guys over and over and over and over again, do not waste one precious day on this earth. You never know when it's your last one. None of those eight people, I'm sure, when they went to that concert were thinking, wow, I'm going to go to a concert and this is going to be it. I'm checking out after this, you know, I'm like... Golly, just, you know, just like when I lost my son in a car accident. I'm sure when he was driving that truck that day, he never thought after he got off of his four-wheeler and started his truck up that he was just going to die when he went down that mountain, you know? I mean, like, so guys, I just, I cannot reiterate enough, you know, we are not in a dress rehearsal. This is the real deal, and you need to wake up every morning and thank God that you're still here and that you still get to do what you want to do but i'm just saying so many people waste every single day they waste their days they just get up and they complain that life isn't how they want it to be but what are they doing to change it it could be worse you could not be here anymore you know so it's up to you every day to get up make the best out of your day if there's a goal out there that you want to try to achieve just do it so what if you fail it just means that that one, that particular thing wasn't meant for you or the timing just wasn't right and, and try it again later or move on to something different. But just don't, don't not do it because you think you've got years and years and years to figure it out or do it later in life. Sometimes later doesn't come. Thank God Maria is still with us. She says yes. God still has work for her to do on this earth and I truly believe it because Maria is an angel. So I just wanted to throw that little bit in there about some motivation here today. I mean, sometimes horrible things happen in our lives to wake us up, to make us go, holy crap. So with that said, I think we need to announce our two giveaway winners. Yes. yes. 
I will take um, Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one you can do Venmo too. <laughs> so let's get on with our two giveaway winners. What is Wait. Look, I didn't even know she had more tomatoes. I'm showing her. I know I have two on this one. Here's a baby. Uh huh. Okay. This is like Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I see one. I don't know why earlier I thought I saw a lot. <laughs> well, I'm like, where? I only see one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. When I came, I felt like I just noticed a lot. I was like, oh, really? look at that one, that one, that one. I'm trying to find where. Because this one just had one. This was the one in the beginning, right? Yeah, and then this one came along. They're taking their sweet ass time. <laughs> I'm like, hello. <laughs> what are you waiting on? And it, as it gets colder, I'm going to have to put them inside. Uh. So they'll have to like sit in the doorway and get sun during the day, but be protected from the frost. So, do you like what I did? Yeah. All that's sitting out here now is Christmas. This is Christmas. So literally, all of this in this corner uh -huh. is pool floaties. <laughs> all of these boxes oh my are pool floaties. We got Christmas trees and Christmas right here. We got tables and chairs. Back here, we just have scaffolding and scaffolding. And this is where ladders go. And then over here, bathroom. This insulation is gonna go up to the apartment. In this closet is golf and Halloween costumes and costumes and some bed linens that are gonna go into the house. Oh my gosh. So this is what I did all weekend fast. I can't believe you were in here organizing all of this. Did it That's all, a lot of work. I know, I know. And then in here, in this room, I literally put all the floating balls and vases and the bar stands uh -huh. and more vases. This is all for parties, which came into this room. And then in this room, I literally came in and put candles, extension cords, Outside glasses, which those will end up going to the house because they'll go part of the catering stuff. Mm -hmm. And then outdoor garage crap and Lamar's wheelchair and all this kind of crap and golf clubs and everything. But wow. this is what I did all day Saturday. <laughs> all by you myself. You got a lot done in all here. All by myself. This was a big project. This is not nothing small. This was huge because remember you couldn't hardly get in here. No. It was such a damn mess. You couldn't hardly get in here. Such a mess. Yes. And now I feel like I had a lazy weekend. And then I <laughs> did the office. You got to see that. Yes. And then I tore up the, all the paper upstairs on the second floor and got all that in the trash and mopped all that. So I was busy. You're so bright today. So bright. <laughs> bright yellow. <laughs> well, look at here. We done skipped Thanksgiving and went straight to Christmas. <laughs> What's going on here? Put the Christmas tree up. Oh my god. <laughs> the big one? Yeah. Is it gonna fit? It's gotta be as far out of the way of the mess as possible. <laughs> so that's the spot we've chosen. <laughs> oh my god. So on with the winners. They're on this piece of paper. Do you want to know who they are? Yes. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> Music. <sick. laughs> They're waiting. <laughs> I had to take the sweatshirt off. I was sweating too much, curling my hair. Yes, through the midst of everything that we're doing, I have an event tonight. <laughs> Habitat for Heroes, supporting our veterans. Yes. So, um, yeah. In the midst of all this, I had to get hair, makeup ready, hair ready. The whole video, we've been slowly seeing you get ready. <laughs> <laughs> I know. First, I was in my pajamas yes. with foundation on, yes. and that was it. <laughs> then you had your eyeshadow. Then I had eyeshadow, and then I progressed to eye, you know, eyelashes. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Finally, it was hair. So it is now 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I have to leave here in a couple hours for the event. So we're trying to get this done really fast. Anyways, the 
Winners, two people won, $250 a piece. Christmas is coming. So who can't use money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the winner from YouTube is Jenny Jusino. Woohoo! Jusino, Jusino. It's J U S I N O. Jenny, J Jenny with a J, like Jenny from the block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like Jenny Lou. <laughs> Anyways, Jenny Jusino. And from Instagram, uh, it's a guy, and it's at Philly, Texas 24. Philly, P H I L L Y, Texas 24. Philly, Texas 24. It's a guy. Um, there you go. So, congratulations to the winners! Another giveaway successful. Yes, 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 yes. So, what an amazing day. Just, it's hard to keep up with me, isn't it, Fab? Yes. Because <laughs> I am like, shh, shh, shh. Uh -huh. I just took Fab out and I'm like, look, the bar's being built. And he's like, what? It was just an idea. We just had tape on the floor and I'm like, look, the bar's being built. Like, literally. Just took Sergio up to my office. I said, order the railing right now. So he's gonna make the steps twice as wide as they are. And we're doing railing. So they're up there right now, getting all that done. Oh uh, we're working on the bar. They're gonna get ready to work on the fur, or they have to build a fur down and a, a raised wood bottom that's like three or four inches so they can fit lights in it. Anyways, uh, Steve from the glass place is gonna be here tomorrow probably installing the metal that's going to help hold in the glass enclosed wine area. No way. What oh, that guy tell me the other day? Teresa, you, Teresa you work too fast. <laughs> Teresa gets shit done. <laughs> They're like, oh, they might decide to pour the concrete around the pool Thursday. It's gonna rain Thursday, get it done Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Quit putting it off. Let's get this stuff done. Yes. So anyways, we are just blowing and going. We there we don't have time. We you saw, we're already outlining Lamar's closet, getting ready to work on my closet. I mean, we are not wasting any time. So, with that said, guys, please please tell your people to subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your relatives, subscribe to this channel. My god, it's fun. It's fun. We have fun stuff on here. Yes, guys. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> yes, Fab's okay. He went to the concert once again. He's okay. Yes. My phone is blowing up. Is Fab okay? Is Fab okay? He's okay. Yeah. Thank you guys for checking on me. <laughs> Somebody will have to, right? <laughs> Takes an army. <laughs> so with that said, guys, hit that notification bell. And until next time, bye-bye.